Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing the Lena review that I promised you guys. I only have two out of the four new plates that I requested. So yes, there are four that have already launched. These went live on Friday, I believe it was. I just got my PR package today, so I'm gonna jump into the review of the two plates that I chose. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these bad boys so you can see what you are getting. So we are going to start off with the Four Seasons Autumn Zero Two Plate. This is the next step in the Autumn series. If you guys have been watching my YouTube channel or my Instagram, I did a manicure using the first Autumn Plate from last fall. Um, I believe it went live on Monday. So we're just going to go over the packaging. This is standard Lena packaging. It has the black sleeve on it. It has the butterfly cut out with her logo down here. Then on the back here, you have directions. You have directions for use, how to stamp. These are just little tidbits that Lena has added on to the back of her sleeves for the beginner stampers or if you need a refresher course or whatever have you. And then it pulls out of the top just like so. And here is what the Autumn Zero Two plate looks like. It has 25 single images and as you can see for my finger it takes roughly three quarters of an image give or take a little pull into your room even for you long nail ladies and then it has a ton of single images down here that you can just mix match and play with to create a beautiful manicure it's different about the lena plates don't mind the messy mat i film on they come with a clear protective plastic on it just pull up a corner like that and then you just peel it off. Do not forget to peel it off or you will not be stamping. The image that I am drawn like directly to, oh look, you can suck, you can see my reflection. Anyway, it's this image right here. This is a falling leaves image. We have been DMing back and forth about this for about a month now. I insisted on this image right here. I freaking adore it. The color placement stamping. I'll link the newbies video right here for you guys to check out if you want a refresher course on that. This would be perfect for color placement. Throw in a bunch of different fall colors over a nudie background and it'll be perfection. And then you can layer stuff on top of it. It is so perfect. I cannot wait to do a manicure using this one. It is on the plate. We have big or larger leaves up here. It has autumn written in it. I'm going to swatch this one for you to see how those words stand out within the image. We have sunflowers over here. It looks like um, the veins of a leaf right here. We have leaves and acorns. We have a negative image of wheat right up here. We have corn, turkeys, more. Those are birds. Those are definitely birds right here. <laughs> and then we have umbrellas. We have pumpkins. We have more leaves, leaves. We have trees. I really like this one. You have the stump of the tree and then you have the center part of it. Absolutely gorgeous. On these single patterns down here, you have a couple of really cute, catchy phrases. You have a turkey, you got little children playing under their umbrellas. You have a larger sunflower, Thanksgiving hat, mushroom, tons of... Without blabbing too much about this plate, I really, really enjoy this plate. I think it is loaded with tons of beautiful images, so let's go ahead and start swatching. We have Can't Wait for Christmas Zero Two. This is loaded with 25 full images again, as well as a plethora of single images down here for you guys to use. This one is going to be a combination of like New Year's Day stuff. A lot of the single images down here. Fireworks for New Year's Day. And then we have Christmas. 
I am super, super excited for this one in particular because it's candy stripes, it's presents. You can do so much fun stuff with this. I really like the negative and positive images of the ho, ho, ho right here. We have Christmas trees. We, we have little, what are those? Elk or deer. They're, they're one of the two. We have um, lights for the Christmas tree. I'm digging this one right here. This is so cute. You can make this into like a sugar cookie manicure with this one right here. You have stars, you have stockings, hearts, mittens, absolutely adorable. This, again, this is also covered with the clear plastic protective coating slash layer, plastic layer, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I'll stop fumbling over my words and we will get right into the swatches of this right now. First up on the chopping block is the Autumn Zero Two Plate. All in all, I was super, super pleased with it. All of the images, except for this larger one, picked up really, really nice. This one here has a ton of super, super fine details. It totally could have been me. I am having an off day. As you can tell, my nails are completely naked. Um, so it could have been me. Uh, when you have the super fine detailing like these guys did with the veins of the leaves, they're relatively difficult to pick up. You need an extraordinarily light hand. Um, so it definitely could have been me. This one here, I'm super pleased with. I think it's upside down to you guys, um, but it definitely clearly says autumn within the leaves. Super pleased with how this one is stamped. Um, these leaves right here also did a fabulous job. All the veining is in there, super delicate, super fine. I really love how these ones looked out, I'm, or turned out. I'm gonna plan a nail art look with those coming up. And then this one, as far as like, it looks like the veining of a leaf just like blown up in your face. It picked up all the fine detailing. It did a fantastic job. All in all, it's a fantastic plate. The wordings here came out really, really nice. Super crisp, you can totally read it. It says Merry Christmas. And this one right here, though it is probably one of the plainer or more simple images from the plate. I think I really want to do, um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, which will be linked down below, um, for Halloween, I did a shadowy kind of effect, and I think um, I can get away with doing something very similar with this image. Next up, we have Can't Believe It's Christmas 02. I am super pleased with the images that I have stamped from this one. This one threw me. As soon as I picked it up, I was like, oh my god, it's a blob of black. But no, you put it on the stamper, and surprise, it it's reindeer. It's a negative image. Like I said, today has been an off day. <laughs> but these are super cute. My sister wants me to do these on her nails ASAP. I think this would be a lot of fun to shrink down and do on little girl nails as well. I'll leave the how to shrinking newbies video right here. Um, these plates do retail. They're roughly $15 a plate, but for the quality of the plate that you get, I think it's totally worth it. They're right on par with Uber Chic. If What's Up Nails had full, um, full plates versus the half plates, it would be right about the same price. And the, in my opinion, the quality of Lena plates is superior to most plates out there. My favorite plates on the planet currently are What's Up Nails and Lena Nail Art Supplies. So I think it is 100% worth it. You can check out her Facebook page, which will be linked in the description down below. But I think that is it. I cannot wait to jump into these and start doing nail art for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.